Hello, Philly Meerkat here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play A Timely Intervention. Um, I'm re recording this episode for the first time. I tried it, uh, it didn't go well. I kept on dying. So, I've learned a couple of things about what I should and shouldn't do when I go back into the gloomy mountains. I'll be telling you about those in a minute. There isn't really a lot to see in this area, but I'm assuming there's a good reason to go here at some point in the game. I might as well shirt off. This is a poor looking place. Few farmers around here have mats. The soil isn't rich, so harvest the thing. Is this the sort of information you pick up working behind the bar? Listen, boy. I was brought up on a farm, so I know what I'm talking about. Now, Galenda, we've got this far without you losing your temper. Let's keep it calm. It was him, implying that all I know is what I've heard from drunken customers. I'm sorry if I offended you. That was not my intention. Very well, but watch your step. I do not think we all need to power into an outhouse cover. Is someone use it going home? No one? And let's move on to somewhere more profitable. Alright, you've uh, you've made your point here. Uh, so yeah, the, there isn't really a lot to be found here, but this exists for some reason, so I'm assuming at some point it will be useful. Of course, when one rides in the new place, one always checks out the outhouse first. Who wouldn't? Please don't make noise, this man is seriously wounded and needs all his rest. Do you know who he is? No, I don't. It is good of you to look after a stranger. In these troubled times, we must do what we can to help one another. Unfortunately, he doesn't say anything. But, I've shown off all the dialogue now, so there we go. There are a couple of other places to go. Not terribly interesting places, but I don't like the sound of that. Perhaps we should avoid it. It's just a dog. I dislike all these animals walking around. They should be safe in zoos or biospheres. How can I concentrate on my vegetable garden when I know my son? Oh, I would just try to just show off the helpful things. Yippee! My dad's come home. My dad's come home. Ah, oh, yes, this is a good, good uh, place to go. This place is actually useful. I'm so happy to have my husband back. I shall never complain about him again. I. Doubt that, but... Ah, oh, my liberators! Welcome to my home, to the far side of my family, welcome! Glad to see you back safely. And all thanks to you. I have a little something, it isn't much, but I want you to have it. Don't say no. We won't say no to this. Okay, and I believe that, uh, that brings their health up to 100%. I've got a feeling there's another person we're supposed to talk to, but I'm not sure who. Well, there's nothing useful there. There's nothing we're really useful here, but I might as well show off the dialogue. This shrine is bigger than your monastery. It's older, and people want to come. People want to come here before going through the gloomy mountains. Why is that? This is a flowering shrine, serving powers of water and air. There's a lot of water and wind on those mountains. People want protection, which you can buy here. There's also the artifact. Perhaps it is true to say that there was the artifact. With that soldier standing in front of the door, I think they will have completed their task by now. Quinner is a fool, there is no other word for it. I have to agree with you about that. Not really sure why it was necessary for him to say I have to agree with you about that. Now, it would be really useful if there was a way to get in here. 
because we're about to go through the gloomy mountains, but unfortunately I don't think there is. No one may enter, by order of Quinna himself. And why not? It is not my price to crest in the orders of the commander of the army. My duty is to obey. That seems pretty definite. Yes, it does. Again, I'm not really sure why it was necessary for him to say yes it does, but okay. Alright, just before I do anything else, it's a bad idea in the mountains to have anything that can cause poison. Alright, nothing to do but go forwards now. I'm gonna try to avoid unnecessary battles here, because the enemies here are pretty powerful. And sometimes I... Well, die because of them, basically. I'm usually too intent on following my hands now, Sam, I think it's that flying wow. You know, it really is stupid of them to suddenly stop walking around so that they can talk. When I think about how much they must have missed over the years, my pride in my purse feels wounded. And there was no way that you could have said this without the enemy walking towards us. There does seem to be a sudden uh, increase, uh, a sudden uh, increase in enemy uh, power, as it were. Uh, when we go into new places. Alright, oh, you definitely want to avoid uh, anything that will reflect their attacks back against them, and I would suggest getting rid of these harpies first. And you don't want to use wind damage on them, trust me. Now, he's quite useful. So he can do this, and Embolden is going to be pretty helpful as well. Right, positioning one of our attacks is going to be helpful. But we're mainly going to want to concentrate on Leofric here, because Leofric's attacks are going to be very helpful against these guys. And you're also going to want to be uh, keeping a careful look at their, uh, their health. I'm gonna use the barmaid's thingy bob because uh, I know it's not really called the barmaid's thingy bob because I want to know what I keep doing wrong against these enemies and so I need to know what they're strong against. Uh, week two. Tells you nothing. It still tells you nothing useful. Oh, I ain't fine. Ok, 
Kate still seems to be doing something not right. But I'm not really sure what to give her here. It's possible that Pierce and Flight are not good for are not good against them, but I don't know. I think you can see the problem here. I might not, I'm not going to search for, um, secret rooms here, because I don't want to have to do the, the extra battles. There was a slight problem that uh, extra battles mean that I would get more experience points, but to not give her any type of weapon. I mean, it's a shame, but I'll see if this fixes the problem of her uh, healing them. Alright, I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna put Leo Frick uh, second, because his attacks are the most helpful. Unfortunately, there were some of these I have to attack, and that includes these guys. Alright, well, I am confused about which character I should avoid um, attacking them with, so I don't know. But never mind. So far I've survived, that's not bad. As far as I can tell, Galandel should use attack. But Kate can, which means I can give Kate back her prototype bow, bow and wonder what she keeps doing wrong. I'm not happy with the amount of TP and HP I'm having to use here, but never mind. I'm surviving, which means I'm doing better than I used to. It would be a pity if I have to use egress before I found the boss, because I don't see how I can avoid going through all of these battles again. There are other battles that I might be able to avoid going through, but not these ones. Ah, but I will go after that in a second. 
because it's probably one of those chests that's that sweet creature. That's that's helpful. Okay. Alright, since there's not a lot she I think anything extra that I can give to her is going to be incredibly helpful. Right, if I'm right, the only place to go now is here. Yeah. Jalund, how long did you send you and Kate were out of circulation? Not long enough to uh, become stupid enough to let this enemy attack us by uh, just standing around like this. When we could be talking and walking at the same time. A few months. And before that, what did you do? Oh, drifted around, did odd jobs here and there, nothing special. Didn't stand around waiting for enemies to attack. Oh, really? For people who drifted around, we seem very ignorant of the ways of the world and of avoiding unnecessary battles. Things of common noise. You are both not bad as fighters. It seems an odd combination to me. Well, it seems an odd combination to me that you're a hunter and yet at the same time you pause to let the enemies attack you whilst having this conversation that could wait. That's just natural chat, and as for not knowing things, in life some things just pass you by. So it would seem. You, my friend, are lying for your teeth. What are you covering up? Is this a hunt for me? I don't know, but I do know that I want to avoid Getting attacked by any unnecessary enemies at all costs, that's going to be quite useful against enemies, though. Um, just before I attack this guy, save it. Here goes. This is where I normally die. Okay, that's quite gratifying. I mean, I'm running out of MP and TP, but I have things that can help with that, so... Well, a couple of them are really close to leveling up, so I will fight these guys and hope that I don't regret it. There we go. And there we go. Okay, this seems like an excellent time to stop. I will see you next time.